Hi, my name is Tom Hudson, and I'm a controls engineer for Matrix Technologies. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Studio 5000 Logics emulator to test the Studio 5000 PLC program with a Factory Talk View Machine Edition HMI application. So as you see here, I have a very simple PLC program that's just going to turn a light on and off with a HMI push button. So the first thing we're going to want to do here is download and install the Studio 5000 Logix Emulate program, which you can get from Rockwell, and open that up. So once you have that done, we're going to open up a new PLC program. And this takes a minute sometimes. And we're going to create a brand new program that we're going to set up as an emulator instead of, as we see here, a uh, an LED3 PLC. So now we've opened up, and we're going to go up here and hit Create New Program. And we're going to scroll down until we get to the Emulate 5570 Logics Emulate. And we'll give it a test name. And you can put it in a custom folder if you want. And we're gonna, in this video, we're doing version 33. Um, this doesn't matter as much as long as you have the correct slot. And for us, the first two slots in the Studio 5000 Logics Emulate are generally taken up by RS links and Factory Talk links at OPC servers. So the first one you're usually going to have available is slot two. So see, we have slot two here. And now we're going to hit finish. And that showed me a, a pop up because I had already created a program called test that I'm going to overwrite. So as you see here, slot two, we have the emulate 5570 called test. So now what we want to do is go to our L83 program. And we're going to right click on on the actually we're going to right click on the routine here. We're going to export the routine. And then over here. We are going to right click on the program, add and import routine. And the reason I like to do this. Is because it pulls over all your tags and you don't have to go recreate all these tags. The other thing I want to note here is that all of your IO tags will not come over um, with the import. And I'll show you what you're gonna, what I like to do with those. So we hit OK. It's going to import and overwrite our main routine. So now we have, as you can see, we'll do a split screen here. We have this the, the original PLC and now the emulate PLC program. So you see we have an error on these, on these, and these are the IO tags. So what I like to do is do a control F and then replace. And I will grab this. And what I like to do is delete the dot at the end and replace all of the ex extra characters here with underscores. But not up here. Down here, replaced with underscores. Replace. And the same for this one I'm going to do. And what you would do is you would go through every single card and make sure that you have to search for replace um, all the tags so you don't have any more errors. And once you've searched and replaced, see it got rid of all the colons and the and the dots except for the last dot. So now what I like to do is turn this tag into a dent. Each tag, create a new tag for it. And now you have no more errors. And also sometimes what I like to do is I just put a little designator that 
placeholder tag for IO. Which you can also do when you create the tag. I just didn't think to do it here. So now uh, we don't we don't need our original PLC anymore. We're going to come over here. We're going to right click slot two and create in the Logix emulate. We're going to uh, choose the emulate 5570 controller. This is all fine. And I like to do 100 milliseconds here. And since I'm only doing one PLC, CPU zero or one is fine. It doesn't really matter. So now you see we've created a, a PLC virtually inside of the emulator. So now what we do, come over here and go to who active for factory talk links. And it'll pop up and you go to your virtual black plane. And here is your PLC inside of the emulator. And you just go ahead and you can go online or download either one. And it's going to ask you to download because there's nothing inside of that PLC right now. You see the blinking yellow lights going away while it's downloading. All right, and now we're online in remote program and we're going to set that to run mode. And as you can see here, the green light for run mode has come on and active. So I'm going to bring this over here. And I've already created um, a simple little HMI screen that we're going to test with. As you can see here, I have emulate set up as my communications topic for the tags. They line up over here with these tags. Now we're going to go set up the communications in Factory Talk links over in our FT View Studio. All right. And first thing we have to do, like I showed you before, we have I'd set up emulate as my tag topic for this for this project. So I'm going to type in emulate and then we can drill in here through a virtual backplane to our Logix Emulate controller. Then you hit apply and it's going to tell you that it doesn't recognize this new path because there's not one set currently. You just hit yes. And you can hit verify if you want. I just could, I'm going to hit OK. So now when we go to run, hit play up here and you see uh, it's right now the push button is not pushed and the lights not on so if we push the push button oops sometimes it has a little uh hiccup and update rate there we go so the light is on our light turned on and now our light out button is on and our light has turned on here so that's how you emulate using the Studio 5000 Logix Emulate and Logix Designer with a Factory Talk Machine Edition HMI application. Uh, thanks for watching.